Welcome back my friends to Gothic Remastered. In today's video we are continuing on on our epic adventure on this quest with our friend here Diego. And if you haven't already seen the previous episode it's linked down below in the playlist. Once again guys thanks for all the likes and the comments and all the guys who subscribed actually to the previous video. I really do appreciate it. Thanks so much for your support. So anyway, without further ado, let's get on with the next part of our story. <laughs> not bad, right? Well, it's not the best sword I've ever seen, but it's much better than what you had before. At least you'll have a real chance of winning a fight with this one. Anyway, you've already found something to defend yourself with, and this meat is inedible. If it's all right with you, Let's go to the old camp. What do you think of Caden? Oh, we can ask about Caden. Yeah, definitely. Do that. So these are only options because of what we discovered last episode. What do you think of Caden? He's not a bad guy, but he's a survivor. And he's been surviving for a long time. You should be wary of him. Yes. Always bear in mind that in the colony... Decisions have consequences sooner or later. I like that. And it sounds we've we've seen quite a few like big alternative dialogue choices in quests so far, where obviously we don't know the impact that our choices would have until obviously later in the game, but it's good to see that that does exist. Let's tell them about the note that we found. I found this. I think it has relevant information about what happened in the elevator last night. Interesting. Very interesting. Apparently we have a mole, and the attack was premeditated. Gomez would love to know this. Good job, rookie. The truth is you're doing pretty well for your first day here. Why is it so blurry? It's weird. Okay, let's uh, carry on. All right, let's go. Great, follow me. So, rookie, quite a show yesterday, eh? Okay, all of you stay where you are. Don't make me hurt you. <laughs> Very funny. The scene was actually pretty comical. At least to me. That's because it wasn't you risking your neck. If I'd have had a good sword, the fight would have gone differently. Of course. The champion of Corinis single-handedly defeats an army of nocturnal beasts. <laughs> I had them right where I wanted them, but then you had to come along. By the way, where are we? It looks like a theatre. Uh. It's actually an ancient temple that has seen different gods. You know, Inos, Adanos, and there you have him, Belia. It doesn't really matter anymore. If this is such an important zone, isn't it dangerous to have predators around here? Yes, and that's why we prefer to work during the day. The animals are starting to do stranger and stranger things at night. Why is that? I don't know. It might be the magic of the barrier, or because they've been trapped in the colony for so long. I see. Incidentally, Diego, are there many rookies in the colony? Few alive. Even fewer sane. Out of the new arrivals, I believe just you. <laughs> oh boy. Even so, being the old camp's nanny is no easy task, as you saw for yourself. Well, you're pretty good at it. You look like you've been doing it all your life. No, rookie. Before landing in this cesspool, I had a more comfortable life. And a more interesting profession, like everyone, I guess. I Look, think Diego. there's the guard post for the trade route. <laughs> Only two men guarding it. Yes, but what a pair. Especially Ori, he's a real character. Grouchy, loyal to the old camp, and a magnificent warrior. Whether it's with a sword or in a beer drinking contest. I swear no one came through here. We would have seen it. We hardly even had two beers yesterday. Of course, Ori. Don't you worry. 
It happens to the best soldiers, although less to the sober ones. <laughs> oh dear, he's very drunk. At least we know how to get past him in the future if we need to. Get some beer. Get him smashed. Another chest here. Can I look right now? Oh, no. Yeah, let, we'll come back here. After we walk to the old camp to get. I wonder if I could have gotten through that gate on my own if I spoke to Ori and did some quests for him. I don't know, but I remember um, that Diego. I'm pretty sure he's like your best friend in original Gothic. I don't know how much they're going to deviate from the original interesting diehard fans, though. Before you got here, you were a hitman. Or more like a bounty hunter. Am I close? Not even for a moment. And I doubt you'll be able to guess. He's a god. By the way, does the name Gerbrand mean anything to you? No, I've never heard of him. Good. Better for you. So, you're not going to tell me what you did before and what brought you here? <laughs> no, rookie. We're still not at that point in our relationship. When we are, you'll know it. Damn. <laughs> Damn. I don't mind these conversations. Adds to the game. Compared to the prologue introduction of the game yesterday. God. This guy's armor's sick. Look at this guy. Damn. Oh. Hi, Bloodwin. I didn't expect to see you here. I thought Gomez was going to send Jackal. Nah. Jackal has to supervise the south zone. So it's my turn to control the north access to the exchange zone. And who the hell is this? Another of your clumsy apprentices? <laughs> I hope this one at least knows how to hold a sword. Yeah. I can defend myself better than you think. Trust me. Yeah, he's right. So far he's survived his first day, which is no mean feat. Anyway, are we going to the old camp now? No, Diego, I can't leave yet. I have to settle a debt with Drax and Radford as soon as possible. This new camp crap is really insistent, you know? Who are Drax and Radford? They are new camp hunters who normally work near the north gate of the old camp. And like good new camp scum, they can't be trusted. Yeah. They'll try to stab you in the back as soon as you turn around. An old camp soldier in debt to the new camp. Strange, isn't it? Watch your tongue. I'm an old camp guard, not one of your kindergarten friends. <laughs> I don't have to give you any explanation. I need snapper meat and a wolf tusk, that's all. That was the agreement, and the sooner I fulfill it, the sooner I'll forget about them. Well, I think you got a mission, rookie. Wait, what? Don't worry, Bloodwing. He'll bring you what you owe. Are you kidding me? <laughs> this guy could barely kill a cockroach. Hello, I'm here. Believe me, he has several hidden virtues. He only needs training, that's all. Have you seen any wolves or snappers nearby? Yeah, at the top, near the watchtower. I saw a wolf, and around the area, a snapper trying to catch some unsuspecting animal. What the hell is a snapper? You know, the snappers. You fought them last night. They're a little bigger than the scavengers. Don't worry, I'm sure you can handle them. Well, actually, the scavengers are the snapper's menu. Anyway, it'll be fun to see what you can do, kid. Bring me the snapper meat and the wolf's tusk, and we'll keep talking. You guys see his sword? His sword looks insanely cool. Look at that sword. Damn, that looks cool. Right then, so we got to go and get some wolf meat and snapper meat. I think I actually already have some from yesterday's video, but... I kind of want to explore this area anyway and head up to this tower and oh additional gameplay attracting animals with oh, animals this is disgusting why do wolves eat this crap 
There we go. Oh, hello. Steady on, buddy. Boom, power attack. Let's go. Get Rex on. My new sword is so powerful, I love it. Die! Hey, he's so savage when he kills them. So that must be the new camp itself. Oh, I can see the old gothic towers, yeah. I remember little bits of this game. Whoa. Apparently there are wolves up here. Oh, it's nice and quick. I appreciate a quick look games like that. Have a quick look at our quest diary. I've already got a wolf task and I need to get a piece of snapper meat. I thought I already killed one. Clearly we did. Clearly I am lying. Head up then. B. We are. Oh, okay. There's a s attracting animals with food. I mean, I could attract them, but I might as well just go over there and kill it, right? It's not like around here. Come on, then, snapper. Where are you going, buddy? Oh, fast, fast one. Eddie, three gens of stamina here. Or are we going for the attack again? How'd he get me? Where are you? I need more stamina now. Stamina runs out so quickly. Need to back off until I can regen. Oh! Oh, he dodged it. Damn it. There we go. I don't think so. Too quick for me. If you keep walking back from him, he can't actually attack you because he's so slow. He keeps on. Oh no, he actually rushed me there. Gets stabbed right in the face. Oh yeah, beautiful, beautiful. The hardest prey. Snapper meat. Snip, snip, snap. So, I've done that quest because I've already got a wall tusk. I just want to check out the area up here. Need a key to access the tower. Let's eat some blueberries. Have full health. And we can take them off. Oh. Pretty down, look at that. Is that another one up? This is a bigger one. Oh yeah, look at that, he's on the ground. What? He just got wrecked, man. I am a true hunter. This, hey. Blueberry. Need those. Again, my health is not. Okay, I can drop down here. Where does this lead me then? Do I want to go down there yet? Before we go down here, duck out this little area over here. Yes. Seven coins and some royal beer. There seems to be a lot of beer on this side. Place I would happily be. Wait, what? Oh, yeah. Oh, that is fine. a 10 out of 10 view. I hope there's no scavenger around. I couldn't fight with this. <clears throat> couldn't fight with that. Hey, weapon on. That seems to be an obvious way down there. Let's check out our acid. <clears throat> Oh, there's actually a chest at the bottom of this. Got a lockpick already, so.
Recipe Cape Dunn Roast Beef. Oh, yes, we have our first recipe, so we can try out cooking this episode. I like the uh, vertical scale to the maps, though. And find some whippers. Ah. Oh my god, I hate this. It's so triggering to try and jump up some. Okay, so here we are back at our little fortress area. Be a mine that's completely caved in. Appers bridge there. I'd really like to try out a bow at some point. I hope I get the opportunity. Oh, actually, this is the area we walked past earlier. No. Treasure's chest back there. Another pickaxe, too. Very easy. Here's the chest. Nice loads of stuff in there. Come at me, bro. one already. Ram won't stand a chance. Look at that. It's already down. I'm almost level one, but it's taken me ages to level up. Oh, there's another sword here. Look at that. A rusty longsword. Still probably not as good as the current longsword have, but we'll have a quick deck and I... A rusty longsword. Yeah, you see, it's not as good. Eat my normal longsword that has no rust on it. Very much. But there's some wolves up ahead here, and I'm just trying to sneak past them. Fuck, I actually can. Oh god! Jesus Christ! Oh god, that scared the crap out of me. Goodness, get your sword out, get your sword out. Jesus. Come on there, mate. Ah! Okay, this is really awkward to try and attack multiple ones of these at once. Okay, we got one down. There's another one behind him now. Oh! You see, I can't... Like, they're surrounding me. They're so... Ah! Jesus Christ! Okay, I need to heal myself. God! Things are relentless. Let's use up some of our bread. Need to start dodging a bit more here. Come on, then. Let's lock on, then we can actually see what direction they go. Boom. Okay, okay, he's down. Running out of stamina here, so we should to wait for it to regenerate. Oh, that was close. Boom. Oh, oh, I thought I parried that. My god, they're so rapid. It's quite hard to parry them. It's easier to like parry a human because you can see their attacks are like quite visible. But animals are a different story. Oh, finisher. There we go. That was a lot more dangerous. Like they surrounded me compared to the other wolves we killed. That was really hard. I thought I could sneak past them, but I was getting so close and I was like, yeah, this is fine. And then I got like apparently too close. I didn't see an option to sneak attack there, which is quite disappointing. That's usually a big thing for me in games. I don't know if, if the old Gothic games, there was much sneaking. I recall because I played Gothic Arcadia, there wasn't much sneaking at all in that. Have here. Seems like all these mines have caved in. There are some nuggets lying around there. Doing this. Oh, that's another healing. Pick that up. Bit of a drop. Like that. That was quite painful. A bit of a shortcut anyway, because we need to go back down here. Here we are, back where our friends are. Let's have a chat to them. Turn in our quest. Wow, you're back. <laughs> and in one piece. I wasn't expecting this. Yes, it's been a very easy mission. It was enough to slay a huge wolf and a killer snapper, and all with this crappy sword. I told you, 
This guy has what it takes to do the job. Good job for a rookie. Take this, and remember, you can always come to me at the old camp. Well, that's very generous of you. <laughs> Not generous. Smart. If you need protection, I can provide it. Eh, for a small price. As long as you can afford it, of course. Yeah. Bloodwind doesn't lift a finger if there's no ore involved. That's his philosophy, isn't it? Eh, more or less. Well, rookie, now I need you to go up to the watchtower and extinguish the beacon. You remember I'm new here, right? What watchtower? In the colony, we use old abandoned towers to send messages remotely. A good flame is usually seen many miles away. That's it. Normally, it would be enough to knock on the door. But after the incidents of last night, Gomez has improved the security. And that's why the old camp soldiers will only open the door if they see that signal. And where's the watchtower? You can go up the road or take the elevator, as you prefer. It's at the top, near where Bloodwind saw the snapper. Once you're there, you can use this key to open the door. All right, let's do it early. Come on. We've already been there, mate. Ah, oh, look, there's a cooking pot at the top too. So why does it keep telling me? I know how I know. All right, so we can actually make something now made from wolf meat, rice snaps, and blueberries. Um, one of the most nutritious recipes you can get in the colony. Ah, oh, okay. Temporarily increases total vitality by 25. Inos, I hope it's as good as it smells. So it actually gives you more health, which is really good. I don't have any more blueberries and make it any. Um, big damn. Right, before we go through here and get attacked, let's save the game. Door with the key we got given. I'm just expecting to. It's not safe. A challenge. Oh, there's another caved in mine over there too. My god, that Whoa Jesus, I almost Now I'd love to know if I can actually you know, walk around this whole area. Oh The gates are open. And I'm not even level one yet. I've done all the quests available. Oh, like it's a slow progress, so. I wanted to look at like the perk system. Oh, there we go. Here's Diego up here. My oh, boy. End demo, finish game, continue quest. Oh, so that's it. Oh man, that's the end, guys. Oh my goodness. Oh, this smells awful. I don't even get to have a go with the archery though, Diego. I was watching wolves. you use it. <clears throat> that is fine <clears throat> greatly. I think we've pretty much discovered everything we could really discover. So apart from the Red Skull quest, which we can't do because we can't access the old camp to meet the Fire Mage, we've pretty much done everything we can do. Let's end the demo. Oh, that was truly very enjoyable. I really did enjoy that. See what the final cutscene is here. Good straddle. Welcome to your new home, rookie. And this is just the beginning. Like the start of a cool town going on there too gothic remake guys let me know what you think in the comment section i'm genuinely excited for this i think this is going to be a great game i think they have a lot to improve on but like the bases are there for a great game and i'm sure this probably helped them with their investors to gauge fan interest and so on so guys if you want me to do a full playthrough of this when it comes out 
let me know in the comment section and be sure to subscribe and press the bell notification icon. I've seen a few interesting recommendations in the comment section like Gothic Arcadia, I played way back and also Risen um, and some other games as well. So we might actually go back and play some of the games just for fun too. Guys, thank you so much for watching this playthrough. Give it a like if you enjoyed it and of course share it if you want to let your friends know about it because any support you guys can give this studio is really positive for them, I'm sure. Thanks so much for watching, guys. My name is ESO and I will see you in the next video. Have a great day. Bye-bye.